So I wanted to do a quick video on the uh, old bull vet here. <clears throat> 92 Volvo 240. 278,000 miles. Developed a problem with pinging. About a year, I've had it for almost two years. I developed a problem with pinging about six months after I got it. And I uh, got on the forums and other people had, had the same problem. And a lot of people had a lot of suggestions, um, all of which were wrong. Um, people said, oh, you know, put in a cooler thermostat, got to dump the heat, get rid of the heat. Well, you know, that makes sense, but didn't help. Um, they said vacuum leak, vacuum leak, vacuum leaks. Checked all the vacuum lines, um, replaced some, sprayed around the intake manifold. Yeah, nothing. Didn't help. Make, make, didn't make a bit of difference. There was no leak anywhere. They said, run cooler plugs in it. You gotta get cooler plugs. Rants got the coolest plugs I could find. Did not help at all. Um, oh, weak, uh, weak spark. Got a new quail pack. Nope, that didn't help either. Um, they said uh, carbon buildup on the uh, on the valves. Car carbon buildup. Got to do the water. The uh, got to do the water decarbonization. Did that. Didn't help at all. So I was convinced that it was some kind of a vacuum leak. Um, some kind of leak where air was getting into the system and was causing an extremely lean condition. Um, so lean that it would ping under any circumstances, basically constantly going up a hill, those kinds of things, it would ping, it would ping really bad. I mean, like scary. So what I finally did was I thought the only place that I have not checked that extra air could be getting into the intake is the um, idle control valve, the air idle control valve, which uh, controls the air coming into the intake when it's idling. So I replaced that and problem solved. That was it. It was leaking, must have been leaking uh, extra air into the intake and uh, was causing it to ping really really bad so that problem is solved another thing is when I first got this and a lot of people don't know about this some do some don't the flame trap which is located right here um, right next to um, cylinder cylinder number four injector and that runs the pipe for the hose for that runs back there and then connects in over there uh, right in front, right before it goes into the, the throttle body there. The flame trap has got to be cleaned out. When I got this, the flame trap was completely clogged, plugged all the way. Um, there was oil kind of seeping out here and there from the pressure, and um, it just was completely, completely clogged. So after I got that changed out, that helped um, the way it ran too. This is a California model and they put EGR on these in 91, 92, and 93 I think and this is the this is where the EGR comes in and it goes and connects in down the actual EGR valve is down there bullet has kind of slapped it on uh, because they already knew the 240 was going away so anyway in case anybody had had it has any issues with pinging um, other than vacuum leak, check that first, and then I'd just go straight to the auto control valve. But they're not that expensive, um, considering what they do. Uh, pretty sure the other one was completely original, so um, lasted for a long time. Anyway, it's my two cents. Done a lot. Done a lot more to it since you know. Other than that, new radiator. I mean, just a lot of stuff. But it runs great. Love it daily driver and it's been a really good car for me. I put 
I don't know, probably 25,000 miles on it so far. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.